JPS, let's talk. An electrical fire is nothing to joke about. This can be caused by a number of things, one of which is faulty wiring and grounding. Today on Let's Talk, we examine when and why it is important to have the wiring and grounding on your building checked, as well as who should check the wiring and grounding. Uh, okay, sir, um, let me check something out and call you back, okay? Thank you. Bye. Man, I can't deal with this man. Too much things for me to do on my own, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. The work man ain't finished now, they're expecting me to tell him what to do next. That, that brother of mine, him always doing this, you know. Him start the thing and then him leave me to finish it. If I wasn't supposed to live in this house, this man. Sure. Patrick, you need to be here to do these things, you know, man. I'm here, I'm here, right outside. Open the door now. Fine. What is the problem, Marie? You complain about everything. The problem is these construction men finish the first stage of the work and they expect me to tell them what to do next and I don't know what to tell them. We need to receive electricity power supply now and we're in business. So all we have to do is get Everton to do a final check of the wiring and the meter socket and all the other electrical things. And we're alright. You sure? Don't we need the government electrical inspector to pass the wiring and grounding before JPS can give us the electricity? You always know everything except what you're supposed to know. You just need an electrician for doing thing and we're alright. Me not trust that. You love the bandola thing too much, man. You know what? Me can go make a call and find out something, you hear? You do what you want to do. Me go look some feed. Cause me know say, we go pay government inspector. We can just give a ton of money and make him fix you up same way. <laughs> me tell you? Me tell you? Mm. Alright, Marie. You can't stop gloat now, you know? Listen. You need a certified electrician to make an application to the GEI, the Government Electrical Inspector. Now, after the GEI pass the premises, then JPS can connect you. Me not see the big deal all now, you know. Patrick, you are my brother, I may love you to death. But you're really for full for true. Listen, if your electrical connection faulty, your equipment can get damaged. Your whole house can burn down, you know. Your wiring and grounding is not something to play with. Jano, me they always know a way to get around things, but it look like that one you beat me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, come let me show you something. Okay. You see this PVC pipe here that runs down to the ground? Mm. The ground wire is inside of that. Uh -huh. Now the wire now runs down to the ground rod, which is a metal rod that runs down into the ground. But what is the Marie? I know you know so much about this. Remember that call I told you I was going to make? Mm. was Logan. Logan. Logan I used to date back in university. Oh. He's now a certified electrician. Oh, <laughs> so he finally serve a purpose. Oh, please, let's go inside. <laughs> anyway, him said the grounding of the wires are important mm. because proper grounding helps prevent fluctuating voltage in your power supply. The grounding wire leads the current to the ground and away from the equipment in case of a short circuit. Or if there's a disturbance on the JPS line and it leads to abnormal voltage. Oh, Zine. So you're trying to tell me, say, Everton wouldn't know all of this? A long time, my daughter, sir. Look, if you want to take that chance, take it when I your money alone invest in the house. But try not to burn down my investment, you see? Whatever. Listen, if you don't do the thing properly and you somebody is not certified, Chances are that they might not know everything they're supposed to know. And as a result, you put yourself and your equipment at risk. And remember, JPS cannot connect the power supply without the GEI approval. All right, fine. It starts sounding like Mumino. now. We move out of her house to live with you. God knows why. To ensure that you don't get into any foolishness. When you require a new electrical connection from JPS, you must have a certified electrician do your connection. Then have a GEI or government electrical inspector inspect and pass it before JPS can connect your power supply. This is important as faulty wiring and grounding can lead to equipment damage as well as a fire which can burn down your entire house. It is as important to have a certified electrical inspector check the wiring and grounding on your premises once per year to ensure that everything is in order. Electrical wiring can deteriorate over time. This is even more likely in cases where the wires are exposed and can be eaten away by rats. Protect your life and property. 
have your wiring and grounding checked by a certified electrician. For more information, dial 1888-CALL-JPS. Until next time, I'm Allison. Be safe. JPS, let's talk. Let's Talk is brought to you by the Jamaica Public Service Company Limited. Changing lives with our energy.